also fun things happening this weekend. This is the final weekend of the Oregon State Fair, and one of the big attractions, I don't know if they have a cheese contest, <laughs> but they do have a Paul Bunyan lumberjack show, and Rod Hill tried to be a lumberjack at the fair. Look at this. <laughs> Having a great time at the Oregon State Fair. Of course, it runs through Labor Day, and you know, one reason people come to the fair is for the shows. Tonight, it's the Commodores. There's still time for you to get online and check out a ticket for the Beach Boys. That's tomorrow night. Um, and again, the shows go all the way through Labor Day. We're here at one of the most exciting, I want to say it's got to be one of the most exciting new events they've had here at the fair over the last several years. This is the wonderful world of sawdust with the Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Mission. Um, and they do anything in this arena from that amazing world of doing art with chainsaws, right? Making you a bear or a raccoon or what have you. The, they throw the axes into the bullseye. Right now, we're going to demonstrate for you the log rolling. And you can see Webb. Webb's going to hold this. Webb, by the way, what year was that? 1990? 1990 Oregon State log rolling champion. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? He tells me if you want to get involved in this, they actually have programs at various YMCA's across the state of Oregon where they, I, I guess they do it in the pool and they, they put a log in there much like this one and then they'll, they'll teach you the art of rolling. So he's going to hold it for me. I'm going to hold this up or hand the mic to Andrew. So Webb is holding it for me. Now, obviously I've done this a couple of times and failed because I'm all wet. <laughs> but I feel like I'm at least getting onto the log now with some degree of confidence. I'm halfway. I'm going to look down the log. Webb's going to let go. I'm going to lose my hat. I don't want to get my hat wet. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> All right, where's my microphone? Now, before you make a judgment call back there in the studio, that was actually the longest I've done today. I was about ready to break out into song. I think that's where my confidence got a little higher. And now we've got the two man cross cut saw. Is that right? Here, Andrew, you coming around to grab the, uh, Andrew's coming around, yeah. Andrew's our good producer, he knows that I need my hat on. Here's this, okay, so refresh my, I'm right hand, so that's going on the bottom. Yep. And I'm standing about right here, is that look about right? And you're coming toward me, here we go. So up until about 1930-ish, this was the chainsaw. And this was the method of bringing down the big dug fir trees that were the staple of Oregon's logging community. We're gonna get this one round off. Oh, there we go. Now, Lyle, the, the cross-cut saws were bigger than this one they used on the big fir trees way back when? Yeah, they were about seven foot on average. Okay, about seven feet, about same as me then, give or take. Um, all right, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> He's done a lot this morning. <laughs> But the Oregon State Fair, don't forget the big show over the weekend, I'm going to say is the Beach Boys on Saturday night down here at the historic Oregon State Fairgrounds. Just a couple minutes off I-5. Come down, you won't regret it. A great time.